What the f My God, it looks like it would have been easier just to bring the horses in with them. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to try and sell my parade saddles. I'm getting too close to retirement to keep hanging on to them. So I'm trying to really come out ahead on these this time for once and do a little better than getting my investment back. I'm sure I will. Where in the world did you get these? I've been collecting them for about uh, 15 years now. Uh, the parade saddles, I've got a total of five. I've ridden them in different parades around uh, Southern Nevada. These have been in the Rose Bowl Parade. You know, it would have probably been easier to just bring me in pictures, but... Uh... For the money I want for these, I've got to have as big a wow effect on you as I can get. Okay. Well, I'm pretty wowed. I mean, it's the most blingiest saddle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Vegas is full of cowboys, so I've had a lot of saddles in my shop, but I've never had anything close to these parade saddles. These things are incredible. All right, so what can you tell me about them? These are uh, Ted Flowers silver saddle. They're not actually silver, are they? No, they're actually uh, nickel-plated bronze. That way you don't have to continually keep polishing them all the time, which would obviously be a lot of work. Yeah, because if these were silver, I can imagine polishing them every other day. So how much does a saddle like this weigh? 75 to 100 pounds. Okay. And they're all decked out. That's heavy for a saddle. Yeah, but uh, the horses don't even get upset or get bothered with it. Just like a fat dude sitting on them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People have been putting ornate saddles like this on horses for over a thousand years. They used to act as armor during battle. Now they're used mostly in parades, and I'm sure that's a great relief to the horses. <laughs> what did you want to do with them? I'd like to sell them. Okay. How much were you looking to get out of them? Uh, I'd like to get probably 8,000 apiece, <clears throat> at least. <clears throat> um, that's a lot of <laughs> damn money. Well, right now, uh, to replace one would be right around twenty to twenty-two thousand. Um, they look cool, but I bought saddles before. I've never bought anything like this. Let me get someone in here to take a look at them. I got a buddy who knows all about this stuff. I'll get him down here right away. We'll see what we can do. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sure I could sell these to a collector or someone who actually uses them in parades. The problem is, I have no idea what they're worth. So I'm gonna call a buddy of mine who does. Hey Mark, how's it going? Good, good, look at this. I have a company here in Las Vegas called Western Stage Props and we supply uh, equipment and things to the movies and theme parks. This is kind of my world. I've been uh, collecting parade saddles uh, for 30 years. So what do you want to know about them? I want you to tell me about them and then I want to know what they're worth. I just have no clue, so I called you up. These are made by Ted Flowers, and Ted Flowers, uh, you might say, was kind of like the Henry Ford of uh, saddle making. Okay. So if a mounted sheriff's posse with 20 guys wanted parade saddles, Ted Flowers would, would, would make them for them. Okay. This is called the Parade Chief model, okay. and this is the Indiana model. So do you know how many hours went into making one of these things? A lot of time. These are all hand tools. Uh, all this etching up here is all done by hand. So these are definitely the real deal. Oh yeah, yeah. These are uh, I've, I've bought and sold probably 30 to 40 of these over the last 15 or 20 years, and these are in perfect shape. What makes these saddles stand out is that over the 30, 40 years of their lifespan, normally these tassels or drops here get broken off and they're missing. These have every one of them are on there. What I did notice, which is really rare on this one, and this is called the hip drop, and this goes over the rump of the horse. These were an option. And this was $150 back in the 1950s. So this was like two weeks pay to the average guy, so a lot of people didn't buy these. Okay. So to find one that matches with the original saddle is very rare and very hard to find. Okay. So if I did buy them off him, what could I realistically expect to get out of them? I've never seen one go for less than $6,500, and they've reached as high as eight to $10,000. You got some really great saddles here. Good luck with them. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right, so what do you want for them? Uh, I'd really like to get between six and eight a piece. Um, the eight thousand's not going to happen. I mean, Mark just told me he sees him go from sixty-five to eight, and then sometimes eight to ten. Okay, I'll give you four thousand bucks a piece for him. Hmm, that's a that's a pretty good uh, amount, but still, just not quite where I need to have it. But, I mean, uh, that's where I gotta have it. Hmm, I'd really like to get at least five. Or, I know uh, you'd like to. Yeah, <laughs> but reasonably speaking, yeah. All right, do you like cash? Always, always like cash. Well, I got cash. Okay, what, <laughs> you're, you're talking five a piece then? Four a piece. 4,500. 4,000 a piece, I'll feel comfortable. Anything more than that, I'm not.
Okay. Okay. Let's go do it. All right, Thank sounds you. good. Let's go do some paperwork. All righty. I'm very happy. I've got some good money out of him. He's going to make some money. I made some money so that should make everybody happy.